John Carrigan, who had left Ireland to work at Bludger Pit at the age of 21, living at number five, Boyle Terrace. A few years later, he got married to Susanna. The couple intended to settle at Ingo Street, Leamington. Their daughter, Catherine, was born in 1905. And John James, May the 10th, 1907. Sadly, Catherine died in 1908 at 48 Lucas Street, Leamington. By the following year, he had moved to a three-bedroom house at 55 Beaumont Terrace. Susanna gave birth to Mary Wallace on May the 7th, 1909, and Francis, April the 16th, 1910. John supported his wife and children employed as a deputy below ground at Blutcher. They also taken in a lodger, Pat Record. Later that year, Edward was born, the 26th of September, 1911 commencing of the war on the 10th of September 1914. When the war was declared in 1914, all regiments raised a new platoon. John enlisted in Newcastle upon Tyne, signed to the newly formed 24th platoon, the first Tyneside Irish. After his training, he departed for France in January 1916. His wife was almost five months pregnant with his seventh child. Whilst at the front, John learned the news that his wife had given birth to his daughter, Leah, on June 16th, 1916. He was sent to the Battle of the Song. Of the opening of the Battle of Albert, they were ordered to hold the village of Luzel, which in time was little more than rubble due to heavy losses. On the Thursday of the battle, John was reported as missing. His wife was informed July the 28th, 1916, that he was considered to have been killed in action July the 1st, 1960. Thomas G. Jurgo was born in Heaton, Newcastle upon Tyne, the youngest of two sons. His father was Joseph, native of Jarrow, and his mother Clara from Suffolk. They were living in Pot Street in Baker, where Joseph was employed as a joiner. After the death of his father, Joseph, who was 38 year old, his mother, Clara, remarried in 1909 to a widow, James Holden, who was born in 1867 at Waterford Island. He had two sons, James and Matthew, and two daughters called Mary and Ellen. Thomas moved in with his stepfather and his mum at 32 Simpson Terrace Blutcher, where his stepfather was working down Blutcher Pit. James got a job for his stepson, Thomas and William, both labourers underground. Thomas left his employment at Blutcher and enlisted under his alias name, Jeffreys. His mother's maiden name. On October the 14th, 1914, he was assigned as a private in the 1478 Northumberland Fusiteers. After his training in Newcastle, he officially joined the army on the 8th of February 1915 and joined the 34th division at Ripon, Yorkshire. In July, before moving on to Seamsbury's Plain, 
for his final training, they were ordered to France. January the 8th of 1916, Thomas was a part of B Corps. Thomas saw action during the Battle of the Somme, attached to the 102nd Brigade, the 34th Division, at the opening of the Battle of Albert, July the 1st to the 30th of 1916. It was recorded that Thomas was killed in action on April the 30th, 1917, and buried at the Level Crossing Cemetery in France. He was 25 year old, single. He was in receipt of a British War Medal, a Victoria Medal. His mother, Clara, of 32 Simpson Terrace, received all monies due to her son. His brother, William, got two pounds and three shillings. His headstone reads, duty calls him to the Lord in God's safekeeping. Rest in peace, Thomas J. J. Go. He is remembered at Newburn Roll of Honour. Sergeant William Sanders was working down Bloodshot Pit. He is remembered in Newburn Roll of Honour. He was killed in 1917. He was serving in the Blutcher branch of St John's Ambulance Brigade. Thomas Patterson had moved to a three bedroom house at 35 Boyle Terrace Blutcher. He had joined his father at the colliery, working below ground as a driver. 1914, when war was declared with Germany, Thomas was 17 year old, despite being too young to enlist. He presented himself at Newburn Recruitment Office, and he lied about his age. He was assigned to the Royal Inner Skinning Fusil, yes. Thomas Reported for the Western Front as of January 1916, joining the 11th platoon in the field in training for the Battle of the Song. Opening battle was postponed until July the 1st. Thomas was with the Ulster Division. There was bomb bombardment by the artillery, quickly took the German lines. But the poor communication when the rest of the division attacked until the creepy bombardment artillery fired in front or over the men. The men would have been under attack, not by the Germans, but by their own artillery. So successful that they reached the German second line. However, by nightfall, they had been pushed back. Thomas Elliot Patterson was reported as missing or presumed dead. <laughs>